Hello there, Pastor Reed from Online Bible Church. Thank you for tuning in. I'd like to do a little review. Now, this is not a Bible review. This is a Bible companion, so to speak, uh, review. This is Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Now, this is something that I have here in my office. I used to use it all the time, but now, because of programs and apps, on your phone like eSword or Blue Letter Bible, where you can search up words, kind of makes these obsolete a little bit. However, these are still handy to have. And this is a huge book. This uh, I actually got from my grandmother. When uh, my great-grandmother passed away, um, uh, her belongings were kind of uh, given to, to some people in the family. And... Uh, me, uh, with a desire for ministry, um, they thought that this would best go to me. And so we're going to have a look here at this uh, Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. And this is the Old Time Gospel Hour Edition. Um, and I just want to open this up. And this is, um, so it's got a foreword here, and I'm just going to read this to you. It says, a good craftsman needs good tools to do his job well. A Bible concordance is absolutely essential to a man who would become a skillful, skillful user of the Word of God. The Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible, in my opinion, is the finest concordance in the world today. It is the very concordance I purchased only hours after I became a child of God in January of 1952. So how old is this book? Um, it has to be after 1952. I have used my Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible thousands of times in the past 25 years. Men of God have put thousands of hours of work and study into the compilation of this concordance. It provides for you the opportunity of utilizing materials compiled by the best scholars of the Christian church and making this material work for you. Uh, read the instructions in this concordance and learn to properly use it. Keep it with your study Bible and spend a great amount of time in study. As you will soon learn, this Strong's Concordance will enable you to study the Bible one word at a time. Every word in the Bible has a wealth of information for your spiritual enrichment. Every word of God is pure. I challenge you to learn how to skillfully use this tool. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, verse 15 says, Study, this has to be King James, great study, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I just love that verse. I, I mention that verse in my sermons quite often. Um, in order to rightly divide the word of truth, you must have the proper tools. You have the necessary tools. If you have a good study reference edition of the scriptures, a good concordance, and a good Bible dictionary. Assuming that you have all these books, now launch out into the adventure of your life. Become a great Bible student. And this is by written by Jerry Falwell, pastor of Thomas Road Baptist Church. And so we're just going to look at this. We're not going to go too deep into it, but I just kind of want to show you what this looks like. Maybe some of you have never even seen a, an exhaustive concordance. Um, just about every Bible has a, a somewhat of a concordance um, in the back of the Bible, but it's not exhaustive. Not everything is in it. Otherwise, you'd have this in the back of your Bible, and that would be pretty impractical to carry. Um, so this is, and it says, uh, the publisher's uh, preface says, During the last half of the 19th century, Dr. James Strong, professor of exegetical theology at Drew Theological Cemetery spent uh, 35 years preparing for the most complete and what has become the most widely accepted concordance of the King James Version of the Bible. That is important because um, if you have any other version, I do not believe you have the uh, perfect Word of God. I believe that in order to have the perfect Word of God in English, you have to have the King James Um so anyway, this is what it looks like if you open it up. And essentially, it is much like what is in the back of your Bible, only it has a lot more stuff in it. 
And the way to use a concordance is it's alphabetical. So you look up a word, any word you like. Um, let's just turn to a page here. Uh, let's look at a uh, nice word that I can pronounce, maybe. Angels. So angels is here. Okay. And all of this. And of course, it's, it's um, broken up into books of the Bible and where they are uh, located. For example, um, angels, Genesis 19, uh, verse 1. And so you can actually go down and every uh, time the word angels is mentioned is listed here. And so if you're doing a study on a particular word, um, you can go to this. Now, again, I used to use this a lot, but now I use an app on my phone and on my iPad and on my computer called eSword. And so really, I don't need this any longer. It's nice to open it up. I mean, there's just something about having a, a physical copy of a book to use. You know, it's one thing to look something up online. You know, we all have um, the Bible on our phones, um, on eSword, you can get the Bible, but I just love carrying a Bible, and, and, and I love just opening up a concordance sometimes, and just looking and using it that way. But again, because of these apps and programs that have search uh, in it, you can just type in the word, and it'll show up. Um, eSword has that, Blue Letter Bible has that, um, other programs I may not be acquainted with, but the main ones that I use are eSword and, and um, uh, Blue Letter Bible, but mostly eSword. And so that is just essentially what the concordance looks like. So you just look up a word, it's all listed alphabetically, uh, you look up a word and it shows you every passage, every verse that that word is used. Now, um, in the back, there is also a dictionary of the Hebrew Bible. Now, there are people that when they study, they always have to go back to the Hebrew. And they always have to go back to the Greek for the old or for the New Testament, and I have n I I don't normally do that. I don't like doing that because I believe that God has preserved His Word in the King James Bible, and I believe that the King James translation is um, the perfect Word of God. However, um, every once in a while, I will come up with a word and, and come across a word that I would like to know what it means in Hebrew or what it means in Greek. And so here is the, uh, the Greek. And so you can look it up. Um, and I've never actually really used this. There is a lexicon uh, built into eSword that kind of does the same thing. So I've never actually used the Greek and Hebrew um, uh, references and dictionary in this. So I'm not probably the, the uh, greatest person to show you how this works. But anyway, um, it does show you what the word is in Greek. And of course, if you look at Greek, um, it's got some different letters. It doesn't use the same letters that we do in English. And so um, it, it shows you um, how to write it in Greek, what it is in Greek, and then the English, um, the, or the Englishized version of it, and how to pronounce it. Like, uh, for example, um, Akeldama. Ak el dam a means of child or to mean field of blood, corsip. Um, let's see if there's a different one here that we can look up. Um, here's one. Ahif nid eos, 
which means uh, non-apparent, unexpected, suddenly, sudden, unawares. So you can look up a Greek word or a, a Hebrew word and find out what it translates into English. But again, this is great to have. It's probably a good tool to have uh, and use sometimes, but I'm not one of those run to the Greek kind of people uh, or run to the Hebrew kind of people. But anyway, that is just a very brief look at the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Um, I just wanted to show that to you because um, this is something that... Um, in years gone by, before the technology we have today, every pastor would need to have, every student of the Bible would need to have. But now um, you can get by without one because there's apps that do the same thing. However, um, I keep this around because it came from my great-grandmother, so there's sentimental uh, value there. But also, um, it looks really good on a bookshelf, too. And so, uh, until next time, God bless.